Hello, IPs. Welcome back to my channel. It's Michaela here. And tonight, we're going to get into my Sephora recommendations because the sale has started for most of us, like normal people who don't spend a lot at Sephora. It starts today, the 9th. So I wanted to film this video and get it up for you guys to let you know some products that I recommend for the sale. So if you want to see what I have, then just keep on watching. <music> happy tuesday i have an early upload for us to get into because the sephora sale is here so i want to quickly run through some products i have quite a bit of product but um i'm gonna be quick as possible because i don't want to spend a lot of time even filming this or editing so let's start with makeup because i don't have a lot of makeup so something that i've really been into lately is the rose ink skin enhanced luminous tinted serum looks like this i don't know if y'all can hear my kids but if you can't i'm sorry it's like they should be they go they should be in bed so i'll be right back this is a really good um lightweight daily um like foundation like skin tint type of thing i've never had anything like that like i've never owned anything that I'm comfortable just I've never had a foundation besides one that I'm about to mention but like I've never just had like a foundation that like I just feel like I could just put on and go and wear with like a concealer and like nothing else like a like a like a true foundation like I just I have it and this is so nice it's so lightweight it gives you like some tint it evens you out and it gives you like a glow especially on top of like your freshly done skincare it looks so good um so yeah, I recommend that. Also, I use this like almost every day. This is the Rare Beauty Brightening. Um, I don't know what this is called. Under Eye Brightener. And I use Medium Tan. And it's like not a concealer. It's not a concealer. It's literally what it says. It's like an eye brightener. It's like a serum for your under eye but it's tinted and it brightens and it just makes everything look moisturized like these two for my everyday i don't want to wear a lot of makeup girlies get it try it something else i've been into is the tarte key largo glow drops i really like these these are bronzing drops you can put them in your moisturizer i actually wear underneath like these three y'all i swear like i wear these like all the time but um you can mix this into your moisturizer, like the Drunk Elephant um, bronzing drops, like dupes that. You can wear it under your makeup. You can wear it on its own. It gives you like a nice, even glow, a little like tan, a little color. I like these because there's um, shades. It's like different shades available. I think it's like four different ones. And I use Deep Bronze Glow. And yeah, it just says shake well, mix well with moisturizer or complexion for a bronze glow. Really cool product and not as expensive as the drunk elephant but still pretty expensive so it's good to get during the sale this is the summer fridays lip oil and i have the shade uh i think soft mob yeah this is the dream lip oil i like this for what it is this is a clearly nice moisturizing lip oil that um you know you just can't expect longevity out of it's not a it's not like a long withstanding performer does not it's not gonna stay on your lips for a long time like this has got to be a throw it on i'm i know i'm gonna have to reapply this type of product and then i also love her what are these called lip butter balms i have three shades but it's only two in here so i have pink sugar and i have brown sugar this one has like a really nice tint to it and i really enjoy it and then this one is just like pretty much clear like it comes off pink but on the lips it's pretty much clear they smell really good they're really really nice pick these up or pick one up i need to get like if you see this one i need to re-up on it but i'm not buying it until i'm out of this one and i think i have a uh, 
the vanilla beige so i'm not buying none anytime soon i feel like lip stuff is kind of like skincare so oh i do have another like lip skincare type of thing which is you don't have to get this one because i don't know if it's available but the laneige sleeping mask these are so nice i'm actually wearing this one on the lips right now but i'm drinking a drink so it's like not as pretty as it should be but this is the cotton candy one they're very moisturizing they pump up the lips they give you a shine i just love these they have all kinds of like flavors so scents and colors my favorite one outside of this one is the purple which i think is gummy bear and it gives you like a lilac kind of tint if you wear it it's so pretty love that let's go into skincare um the ordinary get your serums now while you can get money off i have the hyaluronic acid i like hyaluronic acid by them and then i recently picked up the soothing barrier it's focusing on me there it is this one's really nice it has like the pink juice in there you see I love this this one's a little more pricey it's a little more viral it's like 17 dollars, so i definitely would get recommend getting this one this one's on like five or six dollars so just throw it in the bag if you need it but if not or just buy your backup but the ordinary sold at ulta i know people don't like to mention ulta but like some of these brands cost over like ulta's got a lot of the girls including the mac and i personally like the ulta rewards so i actually bought i buy my serums from ulta but they have it at sephora if you don't have like a, if you gotta do an online order you don't have an ulta or sephora like you might as well just shop wherever you got the coupon for but these are sold at sephora as well so these are nice skincare products from the ordinary if you want to buy it from sephora um also another good brand that i like is the faded brand and i also i have the brightening and clearing serum i got this in like a travel size so it's not very big but this seems to be really nice um it's a 0.5 fluid ounce and it just says use once a week i clearly been following this because what use once a week and work oh and work your way up to daily use so it's a really nice brightening serum i feel like i don't really struggle with discoloration which is why i keep brightening products in my skincare routine so that i don't ever struggle with discoloration so i feel like it's working i haven't had any discoloration and that's the brightening product i've been using and then i also have the eye mask these are really cute and i only have two left so these are in my cart um they're really nice um they're brightening and clearing so for under eye darkness and puffiness they're really sticky in my opinion i kind of prefer like the hydration mask um like to sit and like really feel like it's moisturizing but i do see a difference when i use them so i know they're working it's just like a, it's all about preference um and I like them enough to buy them again, especially with the amount of money, the amount you get for the money. So I do recommend those. Um, two more skincare and we're done. I don't, I'm going to save Mac because I don't know what, I don't know if they carry it. But anyways, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is a nice, luxurious cream. I've used quite a bit. I bought this actually the last VIB sale. This is the, um, what is this, one ounce? Yeah, this is the one ounce. And it's like the only size she doesn't have a refill for. So, whatever, girl. But, um, yeah, this is the one ounce. But it's like, I know that you can refill it because this pops out. Maybe she says it on her website. I'm not sure. This is a nice, um, cream but for 65 dollars i don't think i'll buy it again like i love my it cosmetics cream but if you want like a luxurious feel you want like to pick up your moisturizer and have like a nice luxe feeling container um and just like feel bougie then go for it if you have extra money to blow and you just want to treat yourself like i did the last sale but like i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm not gonna hold you it's just a moisturizer with fragrance i mean it doesn't do anything extra for my skincare if that makes sense so do with that what you will i recommend it if you want to spend the money on that but that it is 
just a good moisturizer like a bunch of other moisturizers and then also from Laneige I really love their sleeping mask I've had multiple I have this one this is what I have left the Sika mask this is really good when your skin's inflamed irritated it's very calming and balancing but my favorite is the water mask and in my cart right now they have a value pack well a gift set with the water mask and the new pink one the bounce mask and a little mini of the lip mask $24 like you don't really go through this stuff very quick so I feel like the gift sets are kind of if the money makes if the math is mathing with the size and the um money it makes sense but I want to try that pink one before I commit to a larger size so that's why I'm getting the gift set and one of them is my favorite and one of them I want to try so I felt like that just makes sense and plus I still have half of this to get through like I'm only halfway done but this is nice and the hydration one the the blue let's talk hair care real quick let's get into the pattern beauty leave-in conditioner I love the yellow and I love uh the Palo Santo this does smell better than the yellow but they still both have that distinct smell um this is the leave-in conditioner i love this um i use this every time i wash my hair and get out this is my leave-in and then i'll go in with my cream whatever that's gonna be love pattern beauty it really gives you the slip it gives you the curl like this pops my coils out like instantly like it really hydrates the hair and i really like it and it has like that gel hydration mask kind of consistency so i really like that they have the palo santo mousse and like i don't know if i want that but i feel like i do but i don't know that's like it's that's on my loves list i don't know if i'm gonna put it in my cart yet because i don't really work with mousse and i've been doing a lot of because i do a lot of research like i do a lot of twist outs and like if you watch my vlogs you know that like i'm always twisting my hair up at night like i manipulate my hair a lot so like i don't know if, if mousse can be interchangeable like with styling creams i feel like it can't because it's totally two different um i'm gonna change it let's go um also i love the bread hair cream this is a nice oh it's not so good this is a nice soupy cream very lightweight absorb it kind of i felt like it was sitting on my hair <coughs> Jeez. but once i twisted it in it was like nice and juicy that's a really good hair cream and they have a mini so if you want to just try it out to see if your natural hair likes it because i feel like we have to experiment a lot to see what our hair likes but if you want to see they do have a mini i got this um from sephora during the last sale and it was on sale so there we go also from bread i love the hair oil y'all can see how half empty it is it smells so good it's just a really nice hair oil smells just like the um hair cream so like i don't know if this is like just their signature scent because i kind of want to try their shampoo and conditioner but i'm a little backed up so maybe the winter sale i'll be in the market for a shampoo and conditioner but i do have a shampoo and conditioner to mention to you right now and this is the way thick hair shampoo and conditioner i like this I like this. This is like bougie. It smells so good. It's like got a nice floral scent. It like gives me spa vibes. And like, this is my only shampoo and conditioner right now. And it's taken me a while to get through because I co-wash a lot. But on wash days, I use this and I really, really like it. So if you're in the market for like a bougie shampoo and conditioner, get it while you have a coupon. And then also from Way, I bought their hair gloss. And so this is kind of pricey for the amount. This is six fluid ounces. It smells the same as the shampoo and conditioner kind of floral hair care smelling stuff. It says to protect color and treat damage. And that's what I feel like it does. Like as a natural there's not much you can do to like make my hair look shiny just because of the texture of my hair but this does really soften my hair like to go in with this after i wash and condition 
it's just like an extra step to like a, a treatment almost so it just comes in and it just softens my hair immediately and it's it's just soft and i feel like i like this on days where i'm doing um wash and goes because i'm usually doing like one product and that's it so i want my hair to be really soft and treated because i'm not going to go in with the cream does that make sense so i like it for that it's a little pricey if you want to try it um that's what it does for me as a natural so if you have a coupon why not okay we're done now we need to do body care and i'm through so for body care i love this ole henriksen what is this called beam cream smoothing body moisturizer so nice i'm wearing it tonight it gives the skin a nice i didn't even show y'all it gives the skin a nice glow like look at how my hands about to shimmer you see that you see that shine y'all sorry about my sis y'all but like look at my hands shiny it's glistening super moisturizing like a serum um like a it's it's just really nice this it has a nice citrusy scent mm, it smells so good it's just so nice especially for um spring summer if you want like a nice body butter it smells so good it's super light super moisturizing give the skin a glow it smells really like citrusy fruity type of scent Y'all, the Sol de Janeiro, if you like any of the scents, if you want to try it, the original Bum Bum Cream 62 smells really good, like caramel. Like caramel, I don't know, like, it's like a pistachio scent. Um, This was my favorite, the 40, this one. It's like a complex vanilla, like a nice, sweet, syrupy, sweet, woody vanilla. It smells super good. This is my most recent pickup. Um, I got this one from Ulta, but they sell it at Sephora, I think. <sighs> this one smells so good. This one is Cozy Cashmere Vanilla with caramelized vanilla, toasted macadamia, and tonka bean. This with the Tree Hut Vanilla body butter oh, such a combo and then i also have the charosa 68 which i have the body butter in this one too um it smells really good i think that this comes in a set with a body wash they have like a gift set like a mini so you can try the body wash the body butter and the spray and i think so does i think all three of these do so if you want to try like the three piece Go ahead and try it now i would recommend getting the gift set so you can see the finish of everything i'm not gonna say this isn't as moisturizing as i think it could be like it's not very moisturizing but the scent is nice and it clings to the skin this is like a soapy not a soapy but like it's like a clean fresh floral light scent to me there's a time and a place this had to grow on me i'm not gonna lie because i'm just a gourmand girl it wasn't giving me everything that i felt like i needed to have but i really enjoyed the sol de janeiro mist so clearly i have like four i have five actually but try them out let's talk fragrance if there's any um if there's any fragrances you want to try i would say try them um where's my my lid to this but anyways let's get into it i recommend the skylar brand perfumes and i even have I'm wearing this one tonight. This is a deluxe. So I have Vanilla Sky. This smells really, really good. Vanilla Sky. Um, I don't have the notes. I'll put them on the screen for you. I also have Boardwalk Delight. This is one of my favorites. Like, look at that. It's half empty. And then I also have this one that I've been into. This is Pink Canyon. And this one I'm wearing tonight with this um, Ole Henriksen body butter. And it's like a citrusy. There's something floral in here. I'll look up the notes. There's something bright floral, but like grounding about this. I freaking love this paired with this. And I'm, okay. I recommend this house um, if you're into vanilla. This one's like a coffee vanilla scent. It smells really, really good. 
This one is like a cotton candy. Mm, like a cotton candy, coconut, girly scent. Really enjoyed that one. I also love the Valentino Donna's. My favorite is this one, the Intense, the Donna Born Aroma Intense. It smells really vanilla, really good. And then this is, um, did y'all know that the Valentino's, like, you could take them out of the sleeve? This one's like a light pink juice, the Donna Born Aroma Original. I'll put the scents on the screen, the notes. This one's just like a nice, fresh... This smells so pretty. It's like a nice, fresh, juicy. I think there's bergamot in this one. It's like a fruit in there. That actually pairs really well with that Ole Harrington. So that's good to know. And then this one's like a really sweet vanilla. So if you want to try those, try them out. So if you want to try like a high end um, fragrance, like now's the time to try it, but get the travel size. Um, or even like these little things that come free with your, cause I have a Killian. They come free with your order. Try these first, but like I say, I go from trying this to to trying this to then committing full size. Does that makes sense? Like there's levels to it before we run out and spend our hard earned money on this stuff. Go from sample to travel to big bottle that's what i recommend i wouldn't just go out here and spend like some of this stuff is a hundred dollars a bottle that's crazy so that is my recommendations um if you need anything or if you just want to treat yourself this is what i like from sephora and i kind of mentioned what's on my wish list while we were talking so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys maybe thursday i might have a thursday video stick around we'll see bye